Hi guys, Vincent here, and welcome back to Flight Simulator X. Today we are flying a 747 of Boeing 737 600 from Bergen to Stockholm. Uh, approximately one and a half hour flight, uh, so it's not a very short flight, it's not a very long flight. It's just, just about right. Uh, we are starting off in the cold and dark state of the aircraft we are boarding at the moment. As you can see, there are a few clouds over in Bergen. We are flying today with a QNH of 1017. This flight that we are taking is an actual real life flight. Uh, this is uh, SAS 8999 that is taking this flight. Uh, we are taking off today of runway 17, so that is over there. So we can fly, if I move around, uh, we can fly out over the water because I thought, you know what, that might be a nice thing to do. Uh, and we're coming in in Stockholm at ILS uh, runway 08. Alright, so that's everything that I'm going to tell you. Let's jump in the cockpit, let's set this thing up and let's get going to Stockholm. Here we are in the, uh, in the cockpit of the 737-600, as you can see and as I told you, we are in a cold and dark state. So let's head over to the, uh, to the overhead panel. Uh, since we need to do some stuff around here, we need some batteries, since that is a good thing to have. So batteries will be going on, we'll arm the emergency lights, that kind of stuff. We will take on the jaw damper. Um, let's have a look if we have an FMC, which we have. If I can get it from here, it would be nice. Okay, <laughs> we'll use the shortcut then. A single FMC operation, that is correct. We will get some ground connections going. Uh, so we will have ground power, and we will get on ground power, dual FMC up restored, that's great. And there we go, so we are now on uh, ground power. We will switch on the window heat, and the probes, or the pito heat, but I turn on the, gem, the jaw damper. We'll get those into NAV. So they can start aligning, make sure the flaps are working. They are, we have all things all there. Green lights, green lights, that's all good. Uh, Rapid fan is off, this is all fine. Uh, we will get the passengers in their seats since that's something you need to do. Alright, so let's get an FMC and let's start programming this thing. So FMC. We'll go for a post in as we're flying the 737 600. Enter IRS position is what we're doing in a second. Uh, post in it. We are here at uh, EMBR, so that is Echo November Bravo Romeo. We'll get that in there. I have literally no idea on, what's, on which gate we are, and it's nowhere around here that I can see, so I have no idea. Uh, we will leave the gate, or we will leave it blank. Uh, we will get the GPS position, so we have our screens online, that's great, we will get into route. I of course made a company route, uh, Bergen to Stockholm, so EMBR to Echo Sierra Sierra Alpha, uh, so we will get that in there, we are taking off today of runway 17, flight number as I said, SAS, uh, what was that, 8999er. Activate and execute that. We'll go for the berth in it. We have zero fuel weights today of uh, 44.3. I need to plan my fuel. I just remembered, so let me go into here. Uh, fuel. Let me have a look. What do we take today? We're taking 8551. 8551 into there. Whoop, okay, that's great. 8551. Gives us reserves of 2.0, uh, cost index of 15. We will be cruising at uh, 370 today. Transition altitude is 8000. So we will get that in there, execute that. Uh, we won't touch the M1 limit. We are going straight for the takeoff. We will get flaps 5 in there. We need a trim of 4.81. Uh, let's get into departure arrival mode. We do want a departure of 17 with the uh, Soro 5 Charlie. Um, Soro 5 Charlie, there it is. Execute that. 
arrival ILS 08 ILS 08 doesn't seem to be an ILS 08 uh, alright we will go with lock 08 then uh, with the Alto 6 Sierra which isn't yeah which is there okay cool no transition there execute that interesting that this thing uh, doesn't know the ILS of, um, of 08 maybe there isn't but uh, in Fly Sim Commander there is an ILS on 08 that's a bit strange uh, but anyway, we will fly the lock then. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, we will go for V1, 114, VR, 115, and V2, 126. So we will get 126 in there. We will smash on the outer throttle. Uh, we can get. Uh, what was that? 370? I think. Uh, what was that? 370 it is. There we go. 370 and our landing altitude is we have a look. 158, so that's actually yeah, that's actually great. So that's all there. We'll start the APU up. Come on. Stay on jaw Lamper. Don't know why it's uh, it goes back all the time. Uh, this is all fine, we will get the anti collision on. And let's quickly step through this thing. So we will go for plan mode. Let's step through. We do have a disco over there, so we will line that up. Um, there isn't really much that can go wrong. Apparently there is. Yeah, there. That's better. And we are landing. As I said, it's a not too long, sh uh, too long route, so that is great. Uh, so that's the plan completed. We will get into the takeoff list over here. We will take the legs list on this FMC. Alright, we are going for 8000. So that's in there. You can switch on the flight directors. Okay, let's test the TKS because that's something we need to do. The APU is running, so we will head over to APU power. TCAS test passed. Right, the TCAS test has been passed, and that's great. We will shut our doors. That means that the jetway can move. Goodbye, mates. Let's uh, quickly have a look where we're going to taxi. Because this is where we are at the moment, this, uh, this red cross, so we want uh, push back with the nose to the left. We will get over to this taxiway, uh, take a left turn, and then we will take this direction. Then make a left turn to go to uh, Stockholm. So that's there. Let's program the, um, the pushback. So menu, FS actions, uh, pushback. Where are you? There you are. We do want a 90 degree turn with the nose to the left. Zero straight length. 264 feet is okay, we'll get that. Uh, we can ditch the ground connections, I think. Yeah, we are on APU power, so we can ditch the ground connections. We need to set our park and brake. And without further ado, let's get a pushback. And uh, ground, cockpit. Go ahead, Captain. We're all set to go up here. We've been cleared to push and start at your discretion. Ready for push. Power and air are clear, doors closed, we are ready for pushback. Please parking brake, please. Alright, let's release the parking brake. There we go. Okay, parking brake is off, clear to push. We want some traffic and data. We've got the terrain up there. Alright, we are pushing. So we can start our engines. We will start with engine number two. Which is firing up over there. Now let's get back into the takeoff list. Yeah, as I said, the weather isn't that great. But 
it, it's not the worst. It's not raining or, or very windy or anything, so that's great. Let's get it some fuel. For the rest, everything looks about right. TCAS is on. We will get the auto brake into RTO. Flight controls is what we're going to check in a second. You can hear the uh, the engine spooling up. Everything looks nice. All right, that's engine number two online. Let's get engine number one. Push is complete. Set park and brake, please. Set park and brake. All right, brakes are set and uh, pressure is normal. Okay, sir. Until war is on. Goodbye, mates. Three. Two, right, guys, uh, one. To disconnect. We will uh, be watching for the pin and the release from guidance on the right side of the airplane, and uh, we'll see you guys next time through. Roger that. Have a good flight. Thank you. I will try to have a good flight. <laughs> you will never know with me. All right, that's uh, engine number one almost online. We'll get the hydraulics. Refer pen can go online, we will wait with the packs until we heard the kickback. There it is, so we can now get the packs online. If you bleed, can go away. We'll get those two into continuous. Let's get the taxi and the runway turn off lights on. Let's position myself a little bit better and let's get taxiing to a runway one second. So we are coming up for uh, runway 17. We are pretty much uh, cleared to go since there is no ATC online. And, you know, I'm not going with ATC. So we are cleared to go. Uh, as you could see, I've put my flaps on flaps 5 as we projected in the, um, in the FMC. Let's look around. Okay. Let's slowly cruise in on the uh, on the runway we will get the landing lights on taxi light can go away we have in we are in continuous local lights can go online I forgot about that one so that's a slight mistake of my side anyway we are now on uh, on engine power let's arm LNF and VNF okay let's line up and let's get going shall we time is money We'll start the clock. Let's line her up. Overshot it slightly. All right, fifty percent thrust. We are stable. Let's get going to 75. Since we don't need 100%, 75 is, is, is enough. It's enough. V1. V1. Rotate. Rotate. We have a positive climbing rate. Let us the gear up. Oh wow, look at this. 
Alright everyone, enjoy your flights to Stockholm. Well, we are coming up for uh, 10,000, so we are pretty far in the descent. Uh, as you can see, this is our descent path, so we have a, left, a slight left turn, slight right turn, right turn, left turn. Now we are on uh, on the ILS path, or not the ILS path, since this this Roman doesn't have an ILS. Uh, but then we are on path on the on the course of, uh, of runway 08, so that's where we are landing today. We are almost at 10,000, so let me get the passengers in their seats, get the ignitions to continuous, and let's get some lightning going. So that's something we need. As you can see, I uh, I had to turn off the uh, the center fuel pumps; those were empty. So that's all great. As you can see, zero fuel in there. So I uh, I closed those, and all is fine. For the rest, some restrictions: 2,500 or above, and uh, 1,360 foot or above, and then we are basically landing. I told the plane that we can go to 2,500. Since I thought, you know what, well, that's uh, that's quite a good a good uh, altitude since we have a, a, a restriction for 2,500. So that is there. For the rest, nothing really much interesting is happening. I will shortly start with some flaps. Uh, I need to turn that into two so that's the other part of, or the other part the other brake into out brake two. Gear needs to be off. I forgot those I forgot those stuff in the, in the flight. Anyway, what can you do? Uh, I will read the matter for you. We have um, 
winds is 9 knots from the north uh, to northeast, temperature 70 degrees, humidity of 72%, QNH 1008, and visibility 10 kilometers or more. Uh, no clouds below 1500 uh, and no cumulonimbus, whatever the fuck that is. But it isn't there, so it doesn't matter. 7000 is where we are, we will uh, start to intervene with the speeds. Since the runway is coming up pretty quickly, let me zoom in. I will give it actually some, uh, some speed break to help it going. Alright, there we go, speed break to help us uh, to help us slow down. When we hit the uh, the up speed for the flaps, we will start with flaps one. That's another airport. Apparently, it was loading it up. I think. The, uh, the frames just sink. We'll get flat one. Flaps one are coming up. We are uh, flying through some clouds. Always nice. I love these clouds. This, this, this little one, not, not the big massive one. These little ones, that's where, that's a nice to fly through. The sand path is unachievable. Isn't that great? Flaps too. We'll have a look if the descent path is unachievable. Flaps 5. Full spade break at the moment. We'll clear that message. If the descent path is truly unachievable, we will make a loop, so we have some more time to uh, to descend. But for now, everything is going well. That's ten. Oh, this is nice. This is this is the joy of flying. It's the clouds seeing you just about underneath you. Nice reflections in the water. Some uh, some city over there. I think that's a city, yeah, at least. You can see some some trees at the edges, and a city. Yeah, that's a city. I'm sure, that's a city. And this is this is nice. Nice scenery around here. You may have heard it, or you may have guessed it. My uh, my voice is a bit away. My uh, my I have a real throat killing uh, thing. I have a bit of a cold at the moment. But that doesn't matter. We will get the gear down. I uh, I just wanted you to uh, to know. We're one hour, two minutes in flight. The gear is down. We will proceed to flaps 15. Approach free or if it's not selected. I should do that. Um, let me get the minimums as well. Uh, minimums. We want a one. 75 75 in there flaps 20 uh, we are going for flaps 40 121 knots okay that's the approach VRF selected But are we on flaps 30? That's great. I I literally think we can still make this uh, this descent. Flaps 30, we will or flaps 40 even. We will speed into beam and get just about under the uh, under the uh, what was that? One to six? No. Uh, you, you are you? 140? No. I'm just. Uh, one two one. There we go. We're just going underneath uh, 121 knots. Uh, that's all right. We will get the speed break in, but we will arm it. Uh, at the break two is selected. We can ding the crew. Ignition are on continuous. This is all fine. Yeah, looking good. 
There's the airport, Stockholm airport. Left turn coming up. We should descend a bit faster or a bit more, like to 2500. I would think. Let's actually get down to 2500. I love it when the 3D texturing is kicking in. We're descending, come on. We aren't really descending, are we? Yeah, a little. You're a little descending. Oh well. It will be alright. Hello Cloud, how are you? Let me zoom in. Left turn. Get us lined up with the wrong way. We are descending well. We just need to wait for that, uh, for this waypoint, the uh, FL08, before we can go underneath 2500. So before we can descend even more. Twenty five hundred altimeter check. Okay, the plane is lining uh, lining us up for the wrong way. So this should be a right turn. Yeah, there we go. Great. Reset MCP altitude. We'll do that. Or actually, I won't. Um, because we are going to take out the autopilot. Shush, thank you. Alright, we will start descending. We are a little too high now. Actually, we are spot on. So that's good. Uh, gear is down. Let's check that, that the gear is down. The gear is down. Uh, one to one is in there. Uh, everything looks good. Okay. We're ready for the landing. At least I am. I hope you are as well. Let me turn the plane in a little. You might hear the, uh, the wheels spinning. Stable descent, not a lot of wind, don't know my matter anymore, I think we had 5 or 9 knots from the north, northeast, that's the thing that I know, don't know I don't know uh, what knots we had, oh well, we will make it. Speed is good, one to one. The uh, approach looks well as well. The altitude, is what I'm talking to. Whoa. Now we have some winds. Did you see the plane just going to the left there?
a little too high. Take out the other throttle. Come on. We need to descend a little more. Put my mass out of the way. Five hundreds. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Landing. Reverse thrust. 75 knots. Manual braking. Reverse thrust can go away. We'll vacate over here. Cool. Welcome to Stockholm, guys. Okay, let's vacate this uh, this one way. Text wave. Huh? All right, let's uh, hold short here. We got an FMC message. Vina disconnects. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> we will get the flaps up. We break in. Uh, we want the landing lights off. We want to start the APU. Lights. And that's all. Uh, all right. Let's get going to the gates. Right, left turn here, then we will be at the gates, or at least at the terminal, where the gates are. We will uh, go for the middle one. The middle out of four, yeah, great. We'll go for the second one. <laughs> Jesus, the middle one out of four, yeah, great job, great, great job. Can you believe it? Oh god, sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so we will head over to the right here. We'll uh, turn off the taxi light. Head over to APU power. Whoop, camera. Okay, a little more trust to keep us going. There we go, that's enough. That's enough. Slowly cruise in there. I like the uh, the Boeing 737-600. It's it's like a very small aircraft, but it is it is a very nice, very nice to fly. All right, well, let's um, set the parking brake. Uh, this is all reset. Yeah, I think uh, we can turn off the TCAS or the, uh, the traffic, and the data can go away as well. We will turn off the terrain over there. Tickets can go. 
We are on APU power, so the engines can go. Let's reset the bleeds and the fence and the packs. So that's something we need to do. Fuel warning, that's okay. Um, Alright, let's get some uh, ground equipment. See Jeffway coming in? Yes, great. Set the wheel chokes and the rest of the shit that we need. Uh, we can turn off the, uh, or we can go to ground power, we can turn off the APU. And that is that. Let's wait for the uh, jetway to connect. Can reset that. And we can reset this one. Okay, jetway is connected. We will open up the doors. And the cargoes as well. Oh, you can, you can see the, the door opening in the, uh, in the setup. I don't know if you saw it. Alright, well... That is another one completed. That was uh, the flights from Bergen to Stockholm. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. I certainly did enjoy making this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Take care, and I hope to see you in the next one. Happy flying!